I, it's actually interesting where I came from. Um, in the more traditional sense, women are less than men. Um, but in my my family sense, my family was kind of it was very different. In the point that my grand from my mom's side of the family, I was much closer to my mom's side of the family because we lived right above each other, and I was pretty much raised by my grandma. Um, my grandma is a, is a boss woman, and she started her own business when she was 17, and she, she opened up a hair salon in her late teens, and she's still running that same salon right now in her, mm, she just turned 70 something, so it's been a very long time. She, for 50 years, she's been running her own business, and especially back then, um, in the 50s and 60s in Iran, it was, even even less advanced, you know. Same, same in America. Like I watch Mad Men now. I watch Mad Men to, and I kind of relate it to what relationships between men and women are like in Iran right now. So if you imagine 50 years before that, it was even worse. To not work, you know, it was it wasn't so advanced to the point where women were just lower than men. Women didn't typically work at all. My um, when I remember a story my grandma told me is that when their landlord found out that my grandma was running a hair salon from their apartment, he said that, no, that's not right. Women shouldn't be working. I don't like this. You need to stop. And that same day, they moved. <laughs> they went and found a new place that they can work out of. Women in Iran, I think right now, they're much more, um, everything's getting better day by day. But in a general sense, in the Islamic Republic of Iran, women are seen as lower than men. But, but in the, in the, I don't know how to say it. But they're advancing way more. When my mom was in college, she was one of, I think, three girls in her major. She was an electric engineer, so she was studying you know, electrical engineering. Um, but now they're really looking up and I feel like the government's trying to hold them down, hold them back, giving them all these restrictions, you know, you, making them cover their hair, not allowing them at soccer games, all these things. But for me, on a family level, it was never like that because my grandma ran the house, my mom, ran the house. For me, I feel like I'm definitely going to be running the house. Like, I expect to be the breadwinner of the family when I'm married or whatever. And so, but I've seen, I remember we were visiting some distant relatives in a village one time when I heard, like my mom whispered to me that the daughter of the family wants to go to college and her dad won't let her because she needs to stay home and learn how to run a house and learn how to um, learn how to raise a family and cook and clean and all that. And she, she actually even took the test to get into college and she made it, but they held her back because you know that's not what a woman should be doing to them in their family unit level. But for us, every girl in my family is in college, top of her class, all that stuff. Sometimes it's a little annoying to be a woman because I'm, I'm a photographer and I work a lot with musicians. I work a lot with bands and producers and managers and DJs and all of them. And they're about 99% male. And it's sometimes I feel like when people look at me, they're like, oh, who, who of them are you dating? How is that how you're here? You know, it's difficult to prove that I've been bringing myself up in this industry without using relationships or things like that to bring myself up. There are times when um, I've had the chance to go on a tour with musicians to document it, and it's been it's been a little iffy because they're like, "Oh no, a girl on tour, that'll be diff that'll suck or whatever." So the, one time a, a manager of the band said I shouldn't, 
I shouldn't be working with them because I'm a girl. I'll be distracting them. That's one, that's one thing. But otherwise, other than that, that's just kind of annoying. I can work past it. My work you know, pushes me through in the end. But um, yeah, it's just a little annoying. It's not that much harder. There are other artists I can work with, it's fine.